Hello everyone. So yeah, somebody tell Mutai Kabwe that is the. <laughs> I think that is the most searched thing right now in Kenya since he announced that uh, we will not be able to access um, public services if you some public services if you've not been vaccinated. Yeah. Uh, seated here, actually, I think it's about time. Yeah, because. We're just dragging our feet so much around this thing when we should have just gone ahead and had our vaccines and protected one another from this whole 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 saga yeah yeah true we can we, people are saying that by right now we might have gotten the uh, immunity from from infection yeah might yeah we cannot measure that that you have the immunity so being be vaccinated add, adds an advantage to your side that if you might have not also gotten the immunity through vaccination you get the exposure and the immunity at the same time so it's a win-win situation when you get vaccinated okay the other thing uh people are saying why is uh covid still a surge in countries that are already said more than 75 percent vaccinated that's uh, in the netherlands in austria in the european countries australia and us yeah the thing is, uh, as flu and COVID being one of the family member of flu, uh, they increase during cold weather. And these guys, uh, like in the U in the UK, in um, in Netherlands, in France, those guys are going towards winter right now. In the US, they're going towards winter. And when you go towards winter, the weather is very cold. So if you get a flu, a cold. Um, it becomes severe during the cold seasons and it isn't up a bit when it's hot and warm. Yeah, so that might explain why there are surges, but those are not severe cases. They just increase in infection rates, but not severe infection rates because they're already vaccinated and they have that proof against the severe forms of COVID. Okay, so people are also saying if we start now limiting the services. Uh, to access of services to public uh, to, to the public it means we are dragging our, our economy I disagree I totally disagree because you being unvaccinated you are dragging our economy why because the government has also to look back and say oh yeah this one has refused to get vaccinated he stands a higher chance of getting severe forms of COVID so the only thing we can do for him is to protect him from the other public so that he doesn't go get the severe forms of COVID. And at this rate, we have not reached the target population of vaccination in Kenya, which we are aiming at 10 million uh, people being vaccinated so that we can be able to say that, yeah, we are at a point where we can be able to manage just in case these other people who are not vaccinated get into severe forms, our health system can be able to manage because many people have already been vaccinated. We are not yet there. So we are trying to protect you from getting the severe forms since you've refused to be vaccinated as at the moment. Okay. And the other thing, Kenya is a service. We, our economy is run through services. Yeah. And service delivery needs interaction, person to person interaction and a safe space for person to person interaction during this pandemic period which we can't have it because I am vaccinated. You are not vaccinated. I come to your office and you're not vaccinated. I, I have COVID unknowingly because I am vaccinated and I can't, I, 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 I might not even know I have COVID because I am protected from severe forms of COVID. So I come to your office, I infect you, you get COVID, you get into ICU, yeah? Because you're not vaccinated. So your chances of getting severe forms of COVID are like a hundred percent so that's why you are denied public services to protect you because you don't want to be vaccinated so if you get vaccinated you will win and nobody is pushing this down your throat directly but indirectly it is sort of being pushed down the throat so you should know that it is somehow a must for you to get vaccinated okay and uh, the other thing is we are, as, as I said, it's a service industry. Kenya, our economy is driven through services. And there at the same time, tourism. Tourism is a very big thing to our GDP, okay? 
so we get a lot of money through tourism so and as a new world order people are being vaccinated so that they'd be able to travel so when they travel to a country that vaccination is not a must uh i don't think they will prefer kenya over another country let's say uganda or um, rwanda where vaccination is a must and people are complying so they will prefer that country over us and uh, us not being vaccinated and thinking that we are safe without being vaccinated we are killing our own economy which we are crying that it should thrive when people are let out so let's be bright enough let's stop being ignorant in a way okay yeah basically that's it but the other thing just generally just generally speaking you might have underrated yourself as a kenyan because one the government needs you like the president is paid the public services are paid from your tax yeah so the government needs you more than you know yeah this government cannot be at the front line to kill you yet they need taxes from you so don't underrate yourself and think that you're useless to this government for them to get some little money out from out there wherever it, that is to kill you no they need you more than you know and the other thing you might just have overrated yourself in a way to think that the government wants to kill you okay so if the government kills you the, I, I don't think the government does any business to want to kill you yet yourself and your lifestyle puts you on a risk that you stand a chance of dying anytime just from your lifestyle i'm just saying i'm just saying but to, my, to myself i think it's very true so yeah for now <laughs> please don't shoot me it is just that i also want us to reason out together okay think i'm making sense just comment down below and uh, i will leave i will leave the links to the to what i've discussed too in the description box and those who have not subscribed kindly subscribe <laughs> then if i am ranting just subscribe because we have good things here we talk about health we talk about lifestyle and uh, we discuss okay so it's over for now bye see you next time